The other day, I found a toolbox. It was my great-grandfather's toolbox, which he used when he first came to America in the 1870s. And it had his name, Abraham B. Beale, and 37 Westland Avenue, which was one of the first buildings he built. I meant to bring it up to give it to Bruce because when I leave this world, I want to make sure the toolbox survives me. The Beale companies in Boston that's been run with the Beale families for generations. And ultimately the goal was always to reinvest in Boston and to create great spaces and to continue to add to the community. Robert really spent a large part of his life working for the nonprofits. I think my uncle more than anybody else knows that if the cities and the communities that we build and do well, everybody's gonna win. And I think that he's a perfect example is they don't have to be winners and losers. There can always be just winners and more winners. We were early adopters in the life science market. In East Cambridge, we converted a number of one-story, fairly low-end industrial uses into laboratories. Six Tide Street really has been an asset which has demonstrated that the eastern seaport actually is a super location for a life science cluster. You know, when we did the Clarendon, we looked at this site and we thought it was doable. And we started to work with Related and um, I asked him, can you come and start working on this development? And we partnered with the Beale companies at the time. And Kim said, sure, let's try it. And that became the beginning of a process that led to not only a great development at the Clarendon and, you know, a foundation for what is now Related Beale. Boston blends its rich history with everything that's going in now. I mean, it's pretty cool that down the street from Paul Revere's home are some of the most innovative and forward-thinking technologies that are being produced not only for the city, but for users across the globe. I think that the mayor and the administration is really looking sort of 360 at what it takes to make a city not only the strong city that Boston is, but to have the city grow. Everybody needs a home. It doesn't matter what your income is, it doesn't matter what your job is, it doesn't matter what your family situation is. I feel very lucky that I get to work in a company that is founded on affordable housing and ultimately that translates into our team being able to work on impactful mixed income communities. We get to not only build for a wide range of users for today, but a wide range of users for tomorrow and that's very exciting for us. I've been working with Related Beal for 22 years. And the culture at Related Beal is now a very youthful one. The culture at Related is energizing and collaborative. That is what makes every day and every week so exciting. I think at Related Beal, everybody has a seat at the table. I don't think it's a matter of if women have different opportunities in real estate or not, but that if you're a hard worker, and you push yourself to participate at the highest level every day, then there'll always be a place for you. I think what's really sets Related Beal apart is our desire to tackle complex projects. Whether it's construction execution, financing, or public-private partnerships, I think it's really a collaborative mindset and entrepreneurial spirit. The culture at Related Beal is great. It's a high energy environment. Everybody's doors are wide open for information sharing. A lot of different people, team members coming from different experiences in the past to put forward great projects for the future. We're a growing group that is really highly motivated in the, in the work that we do, and people really support and work well together. It's a team of in-house experts that I really get the benefit of learning from every day. Whether it's the design team or the construction team, you know, I really do relish the opportunity to learn from them and it really is what gets me up in the morning. We believe the future is going to be to not only have continuity with family, but also to allow the next generation to be part of it. We wanted to make sure that we created an unbelievable platform and an umbrella to basically say, you know, we're here when things get difficult, but we're also going to have a great platform for you to grow and bring to that your passion and your energy to create and to invest in the city that we believe in.